Hello, my name is Astro Gamer Steve, and this is Moving House, to some extent. It's the original house from the original world, uh, in the original video, and in the original location. Only now, the animation will be done within Minecraft itself, thanks to Seth Bling's new set block structure filter. So, let's teleport over to one of the biggest machines ever built in Minecraft, which you can't quite see out there, and uh, let's see how it works. So here we are, just let the machine render up, yep, it is rather big. And every one of these blocks renders one frame of 3D animation. Let's just fast forward now. I'm going to go along here and you can see how long it is. So there we are. That's the whole thing. It is humongous. So we'll just teleport back now. I added these wires so that I could connect up every brick so that it would actually render all the frames in the right order and uh, this will TP me back to the original location so that we can see the animation when it happens and here it is! No, okay, that was editing cheatery, but here's what it actually looks like. Bring up F3 so you can see what's going on. So as you can see, it's a very computationally intensive task. The CPU has to process all the code that's coming to it. The hard drive has to write all the new data to it. The GPU has to render where all the new blocks are now and um, it takes several hundred chunk updates per second to animate something the size of a house so uh, I'd still recommend getting a good editor but there you go you can just use that sort of thing Seth Bling's set block structure filter to animate things within Minecraft okay so let's head into MC Edit here is the world in MC Edit the first thing you'll need to do to do this yourself now you've seen what it is and how it works, I'm going to show you how to do it for yourself. First you'll need to select the area that you want to animate like this. Everything needs to be within this selection area, everything within the frame that you're animating. You don't need to highlight the entire area of everything in the animation ever, just that single frame. However, in this occasion I will be just highlighting everything I want in every frame so that all the blocks are the same size. So here are all the settings. We'll want set structure region at first because we're uh, telling it what we want to animate. We'll want to include air blocks. Uh, that's optional really. It all depends on your situation. So if we go over here, this is where we've put all the blocks which are animating everything. So if we go around here, then we'll want to highlight this block because we know the next one is going to be the same size because we've highlighted the same area every time so we might as well just highlight that and then move that selection box over because this block will be exactly the same size as that one anyway so now we want to go back to filters and change set structure region to build command blocks so now that it knows what we want to animate we want to tell it to build the animator and there it is so that's how to do it We'll just want to save the world now before we exit MC Edit, and that's your block complete. Now let's go back into Minecraft to see it working. Okay, so I've connected up the last block here, so you should notice that the animation is now one frame longer than it was before. I've also put on the Color Convolve shader so that it looks a bit nicer when we actually watch the animation, and this time I won't have F3 up. Actually, I should probably go to multiplayer settings and set the chat to hidden so that the commands aren't covering it like last time. Sorry about that. 
Right, so now, here is what the animation looks like. If I can get the button. So there we are, that was one frame longer than before because I only added one more brick. As you can see, it is slightly laggy and not everything comes in at exactly the same time because redstone is not instantaneous, but that is the extent of the animation that you can do in the latest Minecraft snapshot and all future versions of Minecraft. So there you go, if you ever wanted to have animation within a machinima, there you go, you're welcome. My name's been Astro Gamer Steve. you've been watching this video, and I'll see you next time.